Welcome to this new video. This video is about field parameters. That is a new feature in Power BI. Field parameters allows users to dynamically change the measure of dimensions based on the column selected or the measure selected. So if you want to use field parameters, you need to enable the field parameters in the options. So basically field parameters allows user to dynamically change the measures or dimensions based being analyzed within a report. Actually, this feature can help your report readers explore and customize the analysis of the report by selecting the different measures or dimensions they are interested in. So you will be having a slicer containing lots of measures or dimensions. So users can select that measures, whichever measures they wanted, they can and select and accordingly all the visualizations will change with respect to the measures you can create create new field parameters and choose the column that need to be a part of the user selection so before so before going to this field parameter of course we are having three measures one is the revenue one is the cost and one is the profit and we are having other columns also where we can see the product name the product cost the habitat name so we will be selecting certain measures so these three measures and certain columns and we will see how field parameter works. So before doing everything, we need to go to the file menu and we have to click the options, take the options and settings and select the options. In these options, you need to select the preview feature and this preview feature, you need to enable this field parameters, which is what up in the preview features. You need to enable it. Once you enable it and once you click OK, Power BI will be showing a message to restart the Power BI desktop. So you need to close and you need to restart once again. Then only it will be enabled. Once it gets enabled, you can see that in the modeling tab, this new parameter. Before it gets enabled, the new parameter, this button will be simple like this. There won't be any option here. Now, once the field parameter gets enabled, this option will come. And here we will be getting two options. One is numeric range and one is field. We are going to use this field parameter this field. So we'll be creating two types of visuals. So before that, we need to understand that, okay, field parameter works only with measures. So implicit measures, it, it won't work. That means, okay, usually we will we can select the price column and we can drag it to your card and you will be seeing the measure of total price. These kind of columns won't be able to work in field parameters. Only the measures, explicit measures only will be able to work in the field parameter. So we can create a field parameter. We can select this field and we can give it as measures. And you can select the three measures here total cost total profit and total revenue and you can select the sad slicer to this page actually it will be the default selection so you can keep it like that itself and you can create it now of course this is the code which it has written for so these are the measures and these are the options which we are going to get in the slicers of course Corresponding, there is a table called measure one. And in that measures, we, has, we are having the field parameters, that is measures. This is actually the slicer which we will be using because you can see the slicer is being selected here. So we have formatted the slicer here and we will select a table. And in this table, we will select the region name if it is there. So region name is there and we can rename the region name. Now, once you have selected the region name, you can select this measure also. So once you select the measure, all the three measures will be showing here. So now is the wonderful thing which we are going to get here because if you select only the total cost, we will be seeing only the total cost. So this is with respect to the user, whichever user wants. If the user wants the total revenue, we can select the total revenue. If he wants the total cost, you can select the total cost. If he wants the total profit, he can select the total profit so it all depends upon the user selection if the user is not selecting anything all the three measures will be shown here so this is one wonderful way the use of field parameter another use is this you can select the field parameter you can create one one more field parameter this field parameter we will name it as columns column field and we can select certain columns inside that and we can select the environment name we can select the habitat name and we can select the product name and we will be here if you want you can rename it you can double click and rename it and then you can create the slicer we have got this slicer and we have selected the slicer almost similar to that now we can select a metrics table and in this metric table metrics table we can select the total revenue and we can select this new table also column field so we can you can see that okay 
with respect to the now all the three are enabled not enabled it is disabled so everything is shown you can select it okay land and the desert and under the desert there you can see the product name and once you select the habitat it will be showing the habitat and it will be showing the corresponding total once you select the product it will be showing the product and here also of course it will be changing because it is filtered and if you are selecting the environment it is showing the environment also so you can select the other columns also inside other measures also inside so here we have created the field parameters by selecting the slicer and keeping the measures inside here we have selected the slicer and given the columns inside so we will be selecting all the measures so all the measures we have selected inside so now if you want to see everything okay it will be in a hierarchical way you can select it and you can see but at the same time if you want to see only environment you can select the environment and it will be shown so these things what okay, we it is not like that okay you have to show it in the table you can show it in the bar chart or other charts also you can select a chart here you can select the total cost you can select the chart here and he of course we need the region and the total cost so what we can do is that we can select the region and of course we can select the measure itself and we can and you need to drag it to the y axis so you can see okay which are the total cost by region and this is the region now if you are selecting the profit okay we got the profit by region now if you are selecting the total revenue we got the revenue by region at the same time if you are not selecting anything you can see everything is been shown here so at the same time you can show it on the table as well as in a column chart or in a pie chart or any other way a pie chart here also you can select a pie chart and we can select a measure that is total revenue and with respect to total revenue we can select this column field also so initially we will be seeing land here and water that is the mode if you are selecting the habitat this will change according to the habitat all the habitats are shown and if you are selecting the product all the products are shown here and if you are not showing anything of course the, the top hierarchy that is a more environment will be shown so in this way we can utilize this field parameter for dynamically changing the measure or dynamically changing the column in the slicer and get the results and get the visualization accordingly hope this will help you with this new feature have a nice day